I want to thank them, and, and I want to thank what they taught me, which is that you have to work harder than you, th than you think you possibly can. You can't hold grudges. It's hard, but you can't hold grudges. Uh, and it doesn't matter uh, how you get knocked down in life, because that's going to happen. All that matters is that you got to get up. Violet, Sam, and Sarah, I love you. Welcome back to Opinion Journal. I'm Mary Kissel. That was Ben Affleck accepting the award for Best Picture, but he was snubbed for Best Director. Uh, here to talk about the snubs and the snobs at the Academy, Wall Street Journal editorial page colleague Sorb Armari. Sorb, let's start first with the host, Seth MacFarlane, who's getting a lot of flack uh, for his performance. What did you think? So I, I was surprised that he's getting flack because I, uh, I went to bed last night thinking, wow, this was... Uh, this was great hosting on his part. You're I, I was kidding like, me? Jews and Hollywood jokes? That's appropriate. It, it was it was one off-color joke. It was an an off-color moment, but he's such an equal opportunity offender, and I thought it was <laughs> worthwhile. You know, I've always wondered why this, especially the older male Hollywood actors, will sit through this like so serious. <laughs> and 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 he he poked fun at Tommy Lee Jones and others right away. I think it's just good that he he's so irreverent. It was fun. Well, let's look. Let's take a look at our picks from Friday sure, yeah. and how we did. We're going to put it up on the screen. Uh, there we go. We've got uh, categories from Best Supporting Actor to Best Picture. How did we do? Drum roll, please. Yeah, we got uh, one out of yeah, six there. Yeah. Jeez. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, look, so uh, the big theme of the night was Zero Dark Thirty, yeah. which won for, what, sound editing? Which something, something. And, <laughs> and even had to share the award. Yeah. It's almost worse than winning nothing at all. Um, right. It's so predictable. Why yeah. can't they get over this hatred of the Bush administration? I, 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 I thought it was predictable. Uh, and, and you know what, what's really funny is so much of, uh, of, of Hollywood's uh, politics are, are, you know, in part a legacy of the 1950s blacklist and how uh, you know any any director who had progressive or leftist views you know would get on these lists and wouldn't be able to work I'm going to say they far exaggerate what you know, the extent of all of this but but it's funny because that's terrible as long as the victims are progressives and leftists if anything at all uh, you know, reeks of conservative politics, and it's perfectly okay to, yeah. yeah but, but there are a lot of really forgettable movies yeah. that have won Best right. Picture. So right. would Zero, is this really the, the end for Zero Dark Thirty, or are we going to look back 20 or 30 years from now and say, geez, it really, yeah. you know, Well, first of all, it did, really, it, it did really well at the box office. It, 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 you know, $100 million thus far or something. So that's, I mean, the, it, it, it certainly has the people's vote. Um, and, and besides that, I mean, who remembers Crash anymore from, from 2003 or whenever it was? And, uh, you know, Citizen Kane never won uh, Best Picture. The Searchers wasn't even nominated for. So a lot of, you know, great movies that we look back on and put them on the list of top ten movies of all time, in fact, at the time, were sort of ignored. So I, I don't think this is a, a, an enormous snub. In, in the long term, you never know what history will do with movies like Zero Dark Thirty. I want to talk a little bit about the live performances. Yeah. Yeah. Is Russell Crowe really the worst singer ever to grace a stage? Right. I mean, when I saw, when I saw Les Mis, uh, He's one of the first singing acts to sort of start the movie, <laughs> and it was awful. But then, thankfully, the movie as a whole, there's so many good performances that it redeems oh, his part. Oh, come on, part. so Anne Hathaway. I mean, you saw the difference between Jennifer Hudson and Anne Hathaway. There's no comparison. Jennifer Hudson is the real talent there. She I, won. I, I, I will disagree forever on, on, on that oh, issue. Oh, <laughs> jeez, you're killing me. Wall Street Journal yeah. editorial page member Sora Bramari on having. the Oscars snubs and snobs. Thanks so much for being with us.